Okay, I just arrived in Edinburgh on the train and I've got a few hours here before I get my next train. So I'm just gonna drop off these bags so that I can explore the city a little bit and get some lunch. Here we are, of course it's raining. <laughs> I arrived a day before everyone else on the trip just so that I could settle in. Uh, we were staying in a youth hostel in Aviemore. <sighs> okay, I am heading into Aviemore. Um, I actually had a pretty terrible night's sleep because I forgot that these hostel rooms always have this like emergency fire escape light which stays on the whole night. And I find that really distracting. So I didn't sleep very well. Also, while I ate some really tasty food yesterday in Edinburgh, it was definitely saltier than what I'm used to. So I woke up feeling really dehydrated and thirsty and puffy. So I'm just gonna hydrate today and Oh, mountains! <gasps> so when I arrived last night, it was obviously dark and I couldn't see a thing. So I've never been to Aviemore before and this is my first time seeing it in the daylight. I took a little walk around Aviemore and went down to have a look at the river. I actually find it quite draining to socialise a lot. I prefer to spend a lot of time by myself uh, and I'm gonna spend a week with other people, like 24 seven almost. We're sharing rooms and we'll be cooking and eating together and doing everything all day with the same bunch of people. And I, I really like them, but I just find that quite draining for me. So just to make things more manageable, I like to arrive a bit early to things like this, partly so I can get settled in where I'm gonna be. I like to just get sorted out and not be in a rush. That really helps feel just calm and comfortable in the place that I'm staying. The thing is that I do want to meet people and socialize with people. I don't want to be reclusive. It's not that I, I don't want to do it at all. It's just that I know it takes a toll on me. Really, it's just about finding solutions and systems to make it more manageable so that I don't have to miss out on all the really good things that come from socializing and doing stuff with other people. It is so nice just being here, listening to the quiet river. It's really, just feels timeless. I feel like I could just stay here indefinitely. 
all the worries and concerns about getting stuff done in the modern world it just doesn't seem to matter when you're in a place like this there's been some kind of emotional sort of stuff going on for me back at home recently and I've just been trying to sort of deal with that as best I can. I've in the past been someone who really avoids um, my own emotions and I really struggle still to recognize what my emotions are or how they might be affecting me. And that's something I want to get better at. weird ice growing out of the ground. Okay, this is what we're going up soon. I think on the top is the Cairngorm Plateau. That's where we came from, down there. Oh, it's so amazing to be up here. It's just such a beautiful other world. I love it. Okay, so we're going up a ridge next. I've just put my crampons on. Okay, this is what we're about to climb up. Carl's just at the top of the first pitch and I'm about to follow up where the ropes are. Out in the hills, it's good fun for me. Thank you. 
colours in this forest are amazing. All the plants growing on the ground. There's so, so many different types of green. It's really nice. This is honestly a beautiful little forest. All the different plants of different heights and covering the floor of the forest is just, I just feel like it's how woodland should be. It also has a really nice feel. Like there are some areas of woodland in the UK, especially in England, where they just have a horrible vibe, like a horrible energy. And I think it's because they are non-native species of tree uh, or they're like plantations of just one type of tree and they're just like a monoculture kind of desert. And I think partly it's because there's nothing living there. Like there aren't any birds, they're just, there's no wildlife. It doesn't support anything really because it's not a healthy ecosystem. And I think we can pick up on that. I really feel like I get a different sense, a different like mood in certain places compared to others. But this is a very lovely place. It might be just because it's a nice day with nice weather, but it's nice. Found an elephant tree. This bit looks like an elephant with its trunk and maybe its eye. I can see some water down there. Wow, this is lovely to walk on. It's so soft. So I was actually looking for a really nice little swimming spot or not swimming but just a dip in a lock or a lake but while this one looks really perfect it seems to be frozen horses hoof fungus i think this is on a dead birch tree The sun is so bright over there, oh my goodness. The air is amazingly fresh. It's wonderful. A really good couple of days since we got here. Uh, I've been doing the kind of winter mountain stuff for three years, three winters now, but this was very fun and exciting but also freezing and really hard work and I need some new gloves and some better equipment to really enjoy it. These are birch polypore. I know this one really well. These two are actually quite nice. They're not too old and mangy. I'm tempted to take them, or at least one. It's really peaceful here. I'm just sitting 
looking at the mountains across the log. It's nice. It's funny because on the days climbing mountains, you get so exhausted and you work so hard. It's such a physical and mental battle to just get through it sometimes. Like it's great when you're there and afterwards when you look back at it, but sometimes there are moments I think, why am I here? <laughs> like, this is horrible. But somehow it's really worth doing. It's really satisfying. And I feel like it really helps make me a stronger person. Like I can trust myself more. It's really helped me with that. But somehow I would always choose to do something that's physically really hard than actually anything that's kind of emotionally really hard or spend time thinking about things I know I want to work on about myself. It's not about beating yourself up or punishing yourself. It's more about finding out what things you do that trap you in patterns that you don't want to repeat, that, that don't help you anymore. I really find that there are ways that I get frustrated that I can't move forward in some parts of my life. And I have to accept that it's to do with patterns of behavior that I just do without thinking or without knowing. And that can be really hard work to change. <laughs> hard work to even realize is a thing, but yeah feels sometimes even harder than the mountains. <laughs> There's some really beautiful light over there on the mountains now. I'm not sure I can wait for the sun to actually set because that could be hours. <laughs> it's it's going to be dark, but going back, but it's just really nice at the moment being here. This place is so serene and quiet. This is so much fun. It's amazing up here. It's so calm and still and quiet. It's just incredible. And I'm warm in my jacket. I borrowed some really good gloves from my friend, Emma. that are covered in snow yeah. because the snow's there the ice will be slightly softer so if you swing for them if the other bit's too hard yeah. all in the wrist as well noise you're doing it
today it's a bit drizzly so we're not climbing any mountains uh, so I've come to this really ancient piece of forest and the trees here are amazing they're covered in covered in lichen like all over them it's amazing The other day when I found that really cute little loch I wanted to have a swim but it was frozen but today I have just found quite a nice quiet little place by this river doesn't look too scary this river so I'm gonna go and try and have a quick maybe not a swim but a dip in the river Oh my gosh, I feel amazing. That was so good. I don't know why it makes you feel so good, but amazing. But I'm really cold, I've got to get the bus back. So I need to hurry up and not miss it. Woohoo! 